Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment and share. Okay, let's go. So today we are going to be looking at Agricultural Science, SBA, and this is part one. So this time I want to welcome you to Al's Agrology Mecca. So let's go school-based assessment for agricultural science and this is part one so we are going to be looking at the steps needed to complete agricultural science SBA I am going to be looking at the Briler SBA and you can formulate your steps for your crop SBA now SBA school-based assessment this is completed and assessed at the school level the agricultural science school-based assessment contributes 40% to the student's final grade. Candidates are required to complete a crop investigation along with a cost analysis as well as a Briler investigation and a cost analysis. For students who are doing double award option, they are required to do a crop and a Briler investigation along with the cost analysis for both. In addition, they have to do a post-production and or value-added component. Now, students doing agricultural science school-based assessment are required to complete 10 practical skills, five of these for crops and five for livestock. These skills for a single award they are drawn from sections B and C of the syllabi. For double award, they are from sections B, C, and E. Now, students who are completing school-based assessment for agricultural science, the first step is to start with your introduction. Now, under introduction, you have some subheading. The first of them is the problem statement. Today I am going to be looking at a sample problem statement. So you must have a problem for you to investigate. Start with a short introduction. For example, many persons in rural Jamaica have become chicken farmers since COVID-19. Chickens are consumed more than any other type of protein in Jamaica and can be prepared in many ways. You can also list some of the ways in which the chicken meat can be prepared. However, many farmers do not know that the birds will perform differently based on the type of feed that they consume at their different stage of growth. So this is a very short problem statement. Now the next subheading under introduction is the aim. So now you have a problem and you need an aim so that you can carry out your investigation or your research. This investigation seeks to determine if broiler birds will grow faster and produce more meat when fed on mash feed for six weeks against another set that is fed on mash for two weeks and then fed on pellet for the remaining four weeks if we are going then for six weeks. Now you can also use two different brands of feed. So you can look at one set of bird eat eating high pro feed and another set eating neutral mix. So you, can you want to find out which one will produce more meat or will perform better and which type or brand of feed. Now you also need your technical objective and you need a business objective as well. For the technical objective, to determine if the chicken grown on mash only will weigh more than those grown on mash and pellet. For your business objective, you would want to also assess the cost effectiveness or the profitability of rearing brella birds using mash feed as opposed to using mash and pellet. For your technical objective as well, you'd probably want to look at 
which one of the chicken will give you a better feed conversion ratio. The ones eating Nutramix or the one eating high pro or those eating mash only or those eating both mash and pellet. Alright, so this is your aim. The second step in your SBA is to do your research methodology. So under research methodology, you have your experimental design. So you have to indicate what design you'll use to carry out your research. So two sections of the poultry house of equal proportion were organized. So you have a poultry house, you can divide the house in two, or if you have two sections, you can prepare both sections. Indicate the length and width of both sections in feet and meters. So for example, you'd want to say section A or first section or section 1 is 50 by 10, section 2 is also 50 by 10 or section A, section B. Also indicate how you would label each section based on what you'll feed them on. So for section A, you probably want to say Nutramix on section B, high pro or section A, mash only, section B, mash and pellet. Indicate how many feeders and waterers will be placed in each section. Also the depth or amount of sawdust to be used are added to each section. You also want to indicate how many bulbs or the types of bulbs used or will be added to provide heat in the brooder. Indicate the number of day old chicks to be placed in each section. Also indicate the same if the same condition will exist in both sections, for example, the turning of the litter, washing of the waterers, and the collection and recording of observed data. So how many chickens per week will be weighed from each section? Will you be weighing the feed given to each section? Indicate how you will do that. You can also have a floor plan of your experimental design. And this is a simple floor plan that I have here. Mine indicating section A, mash only, section B, mash and pellet. Or you can have section A, or section 1 high pro, section B or section 2, you can have Nutramix. You, in, you decide. And if it's a plot of land, plot A, cucumber grown with organic fertilizer, section B, inorganic fertilizer. Now the next subheading is the list of materials and equipment to use. Here you should list all the materials and all the equipment that you use from start to finish. Bee feathering machine, poly bags, day old chicks, waterers, curtains, hay forks, feeders, disinfectant, booster, knife, wheelbarrow. I have a few here, but there are many others. List all that you will use or have used in this section. I also have a picture of a bee feathering machine. Now the next subheading under methodology are the activities that you will carry out. List and describe all the activities. Describing, you would have to indicate how you have completed these. So cleaning and disinfecting the poultry house, explain how you as an investigator have cleaned and disinfected the poultry house not just defining what cleaning is or disinfecting is or how it should be done but how you have done it and you do that for all your activities in addition to the explanation you should have photograph depicting or showing that you were involved in the whole process so for example cleaning and disinfecting the poultry house you should have pictures of you cleaning and disinfecting adding the curtains adding bulbs, constructing the brooder, adding sawdust, receiving your baby chicks, putting the chicks in the brooder, feeding the birds, turning the litter, 
washing the water as and all the other activities that you will carry out under activity you also have some processes that will be done especially at the end of six weeks so you're talking about slaughtering of birds evisceration chilling packaging marketing and there are some things that you would do before slaughtering like getting your firewoods and starving the birds from the day before that explain all of your processes and have pictures to show you involving in the processes very important all right so i have a sample here of how you can explain your activity so looking at washing of waterers for example you could say from day old to two weeks the chicks were given water via small red and white plastic waterers that were washed and refilled with water morning and evening you could also indicate that booster was placed in the water for the chickens and you can also indicate the amount placed each time now you want to also indicate that the automatic waterers would be introduced or were introduced to the chickens at the end of two weeks right and so all of these waterers were sanitized daily by washing with detergent and disinfectant you can also have pictures of you putting the booster in the water washing the waterers and sanitizing all right so this is just part one of our series agricultural science coal based assessment so stay tuned for part two and again i want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and share stay tuned